smart. There are many remarkable experiences that people can have. They can have any number of visual experiences, for example. They could be auditory experiences as well, or they could smell something, but it could easily be explained through overstimulation of parts of the brain. Visual experiences seem to play a dominant role in terms of people saying it's more than merely a hallucination. The word hallucination is kind of dirtied in some people's minds, where they consider hallucination to be synonymous with madness. And in actuality, that's not the case in any serious way, although people with various forms of mental illness can suffer with hallucinations. But confusing overstimulation of certain areas of the brain with actual insanity is slightly small-minded and a sign of a person's ignorance. Hallucinations can come in many forms, and it's simply down to overstimulation of certain key areas of the brain. It's been shown time and time again. People having remarkable experiences which have not been prompted in any way, shape or form. In other words, they don't have a belief or practice which is going to encourage it. They haven't been partaking in drugs which encourage certain uh, experiences, certain overstimulation. They simply have an experience and they might claim it's some kind of proof. Proof of what, you may ask? Well, proof of anything they choose to say it's proof of. Proof of aliens, proof of uh, angels, proof of a spiritual reality. But in actuality, there is no reason to assume this is the case. Typically, what people do is have some kind of latent belief and then fit things around it later on. Or if they have a belief later on, they'll fit that experience in the past around that. It's very common to do this kind of thing. Alternatively, people with an established belief will fit things into that belief. Even if it doesn't fit with the belief, they will distort it, warp it, and relive it in their dreams and their thoughts, and end up with that idea becoming elaborated in a particular direction. Not through the actual experience itself, but through the re-remembering of it and the distortion of the memory towards some kind of idea which suits their belief system. And they'll call it proof, and they'll say it's evidence, and they'll say, you know, God was riding on a rainbow or something. Some ridiculous idea. And they'll say it proves their belief that they actually had this experience. They'll say it proves what they consider to be true is in fact true. But in actuality, it is all explained or easily explained away by the fact that we can be easily interfered with at a chemical level. Our brain function can be interfered with as to allow people to have these kinds of experiences and the psychological needs of some people to make sense of this kind of stuff, whether in a belief or not in a belief, will basically mean they search for things to try and make it make sense. And the idea that we simply have an overstimulated part of the brain causing this, or various centres of the brain being stimulated, overstimulated, it isn't sufficiently satisfying for a great many people to accept that. And so they will continue to add on to what they consider to be true and make unnecessary leaps and distort things in order to make that seem to be the case. That the idea that they hold dear is in fact the more reasonable position. And people saying it's simply hallucination are those people who are simply naysayers. Which when you think about it is the wrong way of considering any form of experience of those kinds, where people perhaps are starved of oxygen, in some cases during an operation or a near-death experience, and afterwards, where their mind tries to make sense of things, they would consider it to be, no, it must have happened when I was dead or near death, even if the drugs used and indeed some of the anaesthetics used may well have been those which relate to overstimulating certain visual centres of the brain. They would rather believe in something magical and wonderful rather than the bleak reality. I have to say, I think Robert almost comes along, comes with a deep psychosis. <laughs>